years of editing tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to change the tint of any video or any clip or any image that you want to. This is actually an extremely easy thing to do. And there's a few different ways of doing it. I'm going to show you my favorite and quite possibly the easiest. Um, but first of all, I want to show you the way that you could do it if the way that I want to show you isn't exactly the best. So first of all, the first thing you can do is just come down straight to the color tab and uh, come down to this section, which is usually what you have selected by default. I have no idea why I had this selected. And in the primary color wheel section, there is just straight up a tint thing. And uh, I think if you hold down... I think it's if you hold down sh control and you drag, shift and drag. Oh, sorry. If you just, if you click on it and you drag up and down, you can kind of change it like a slider. But either way, um, kind of just changing it based off of an input from 0 to 100, so negative 100 to positive 100 can be a bit, you know tedious and you might not get exactly what you want so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset that <laughs> and the way I do it is I just go down to the open effects tab and I look up tint and I have the sapphire adjust stuff installed so yes that stuff is pretty pretty expensive I made a tutorial on how to install that you can check it out if you haven't already um, so if you don't have the money or you don't want to get a free trial to use this, then absolutely this is your best method. But for those of you who already have it or, you know, who have pirated it, then, you know, this is by far, without a doubt, the best way, like just with not, not even close. It's just so good, this method. Um, you just drag it onto your clip like any other uh, filter you would. And then you go to the effects tab on the clip and you go to tint lights and you can select literally any color you want you can even select these um, typically you want to go something pretty far down towards the white section even if you want blue obviously you don't want to make something like that unless you do and if you do want to make that then you know make that but if you want to do something like a montage or an edit you're going to want something a bit more subtle that it still looks a bit bluer than it normally would. Like this. But, you know, it's not it's not exactly super blue. I would even go as far as, as to say this might be just a little bit too blue. But you kind of understand the point of what I'm trying to get across. You can even change the source saturation. So you, you, have, you don't even have to fuck around with this tab in the slightest. Which is probably my favorite thing. I hate... I'm sorry, I don't hate, I dislike the uh, strict number values that gets assigned to these things. In my opinion, a slider is much more intuitive for me. So I'm really happy that, uh, ooh, I'm really happy that, you know, Sapphire does this a bit more intuitively to my liking. But yeah, that's how you change the tint of any clip or image in DaVinci Resolve. Make sure you guys do drop a like and subscribe to help support me to do what I'm doing. And, um, yeah, push these out to more people who might have the same questions. Yes, do some of the goalies. Peace out.